क्लास सेवन लेसन वन फूड फॉर हेल्थ सब टॉपिक्स इंट्रोडक्शन कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ फूड लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाइज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ न्यूट्रिय टू अवर बॉडी स्टेट द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ फूड क्लासीफाई द कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ फूड इन टू माइक्रो एंड माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय observe the picture what are they doing they are taking their midday meal isn't it name the food items that are served in a midday meal in a midday meal different food items like uppu rice pappu charu egg curry chikki etc will be served according to the daily menu what is the objective of providing midday meal to the school children The main objective of providing midday meal is to provide nutritive food to the growing children. Midday meal is served daily as per the weekly menu chart. Observe the day-wise midday meal menu chart given here. What is the menu on Monday? Kupu rice, pappu charu, egg curry, and chikki. On Tuesday. puri hora dal with tomatoes and boiled egg on wednesday vegetable rice alu kurma boiled egg and chikki on thursday khichdi tomato chutney and boiled egg on friday kupu rice dal with green leaves boiled egg and chikki on saturday kupu rice sambar and sweet potato Is the menu same for all days? No, the menu is different on different days with the delicious food items like chickpeas, sweet pongal, vegetable rice, eggs, etc. Do you know why different food items are being served in midday meal? Is it only for taste? No, in fact, every food item is made up of one or more ingredients. Every ingredient has one or more nutrients or components. These nutrients gives us energy, keeps us healthy, and helps in growth and repair of our body. Let us learn about these components of food. Our diet consists of the following components: carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals and vitamins all these nutrients are essential for our body here is a nutritional information given on the pack of balamrutam supplied by anganwadi workers we know that this is a good nutritive food let us study this table and then we can answer the questions which components are in large quantity in grams if you see here carbohydrates proteins and fats are present in grams and remaining all are in just milligrams or less so the answer is carbohydrates proteins and fats which components are in lesser quantity in milligrams or less except these three remaining all iron vitamin a calcium vitamin b1 vitamin b2 vitamin c folic acid niacin all these are present in lesser quantity so minerals and vitamins are present in lesser quantity what can we understand from this from this we can understand that our body require certain nutrients in large quantities and certain nutrients in relatively lesser quantities nutrients that are required in large quantities to our body are called macronutrients carbohydrates proteins and fats are the macronutrients 
nutrients that are required in very less quantities to our body are called micronutrients. Minerals and vitamins are the micronutrients. Summary Every food item is made up of one or more ingredients. Every ingredient has one or more nutrients or components. These nutrients gives us energy, keeps us healthy and helps in the growth and repair of our body. Our diet consists of the following components. Carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals and vitamins. Among these, carbohydrates, proteins and fats are required in large quantity, hence they are called macronutrients. Minerals and vitamins are required in very less quantity, so they are called micronutrients. Assessment How do nutrients help our body? Name the components of food. What are macronutrients? Why do minerals and vitamins are called micronutrients? Identify the macronutrient. A. Vitamins B. Proteins C. Minerals and D. Water Which of the following is required in very less quantity? A. Carbohydrates B. Vitamins C. Fats and D. Proteins <music>